To customize your sales pipeline, go to your profile icon and hit Administration. Under Sales Space, there are sales units and sales pipelines. Consider sales unit as your territory or department or however you organize yourselves. This is where particular pipeline processes are. To create a new sales unit, select some that are already existing and hit Add New Unit. Now you just name it, give it a picture, set the parent, and assign pipeline to it. I have more than one pipeline, so I need to choose one to edit first. To edit your sales step, hit this pencil and change its name. Then fill the probability of closure based on your company experience. If you don't know it yet, just use Pipeliner for two to six months, depending on average sale time, and it will tell you your probabilities. Then change sales step probabilities again for real numbers. Enable velocity if you want to set the maximum time an opportunity should sit in a sales stage. Once satisfied, hit Save. You can add documents to your sales steps, which could include email, invoice, or cold call templates. Or they may be some marketing materials that sales send to prospects like feature tours. You can add them later from each sales step. You can also add your Google Drive and Dropbox documents, but you have to integrate them first. Remove the sales step with this trash can. And here, you add a new sales step. All fields are the same as in edit mode, except one that allows you to set up where you want this new step to be located. As you see next to each stage name, you have sales activities. When set, they look like this. To do checkboxes that show your sales reps what they need to do next. Let's set quickly one in stage. Hit add sales activity and then add predefined activity type. As activity type, then choose task. Write a description, like send promo materials to prospect. Notice that as you start writing, this handy auto schedule button appears. In Pipeliner, you can set up for your reps that some tasks can be created along with due dates and reminders automatically. When set, it looks like this. Activities that were created are now in opportunity detail here. Finishing activities then will result in the checkbox being automatically checked. We don't have time here to explain all necessary information, so check out description of this video to see additional resources for sales activities and auto scheduling. Now it's your turn. Set up your pipeline and when you are done, click on the next part where we will take a closer look at your sales pipeline.